Hey guys, Miss Yeager here. I am going to be go going over your Unit 4 Test 1 outline. Your test will either, uh, your test will be Friday, we're going to review today and review tomorrow, um, and it's going to be over this stuff. So your test is going to be over one-step equations, two-step equations, and writing equations, um, which is like a word problem. So for one-step equations, don't forget your inverse operations, addition and subtraction undo each other, and multiplication and division undo each other. So I have a couple examples for us to work out. Do, do, do. So for the first one, example one, remember the negative five and the x, there's no symbol right here in between the two, so that means they're multiplied. Okay, so I'm a little dot for multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. And this whole negative 5 right here is what we're trying to get rid of. My line down the middle. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by negative 5 on the left. And if I divide by negative 5 on the left, I have to also divide by negative 5 on the right. So x is going to equal 5. So my final answer for this is x equals 5. Okay, the next one, draw your line down the middle, is x minus 8. The opposite of minus 8 is add 8, because remember, the whole point of this is to get the variable, in this case it's an x, it could be any letter by itself. So I'm going to add 8 to the left, and if I add 8 to the left, those cancel, I have to also add 8 to the right. So x is going to equal 3. So final answer is x equals 3. Last but not least, there's division, x divided by 3, the little division bar. Okay, that fraction bar means division. The opposite of division is multiplication, so times 3. That's going to get rid of that. But if I multiply by 3 on the left, I have to also multiply by 3 on the right. So x equals 30 is my final answer. So those are one-step equations. Then we have our two-step equations which just means do 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 which just means that there is going to be something else with the x that we have to do last so you draw your line down the middle okay and this is what we're working on last okay because there's an extra number with the x so we're getting rid of that so the first thing we have to get rid of though is minus 7 the opposite of minus 7 is plus 7 so that goes away so then you have 3x equals 39. And remember, the 3 is being multiplied by the x, so the opposite is division. x equals 13. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could check. Let's do a little check on the side. Checking means I'm plugging it back into the original equation. So it was 3 times x minus 7 had to equal 32. 3 times x, my x was 13. Okay, so I can use my calculator or I can use my head and do it step by step. So 3 times 13 is 39. Minus 7 comes down, has to still equal 32. Not messing with the right side. 39 minus 7 is 32. Again, not messing with the right side. 32 is equal to 32. True statement. Okay, so my final answer for this was x equals 13. Okay, the next one, draw my line. Again, this is what we're going to last. Okay, whatever the x is, and it's always going to have something else with it. So plus 5, because it was minus, plus 5, gone. x over 2 equals 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now it's a one-step equation. X is being divided by 2, so you're going to multiply by 2 on both sides. So X is going to equal 16. And again, if you wanted to, you can check like we did above, plugging it into the original. So if you were going to do a check, okay, it'd be 16, because that was our X, divided by 2, minus 5 has to equal 3. 16 divided by 2 is 8, minus 5 has to equal 3. 8 minus 5 is, in fact, 3. Does 3 equal 3? Yes, it does. Okay, so that's if you're doing a check. 
Okay, our last one is right here. So again, draw your line down the middle. My 4y is what I'm getting to last. So this is plus negative 9. Okay, this is the same thing as if I were just to ignore that plus sign and just say it was a minus 9. So the opposite of minus 9 is a plus 9. So 4y, because those cancel, is going to equal negative 36 plus 9 is going to give you a negative 27. Okay, if you're not good with your negative signs, use your calculator. It's okay. That's why you have one. Okay, last but not least, one-step equation. 4 is being multiplied by y, so I need to divide by y. Sorry, divide by 4. So y is going to equal 27 divided by 4 is a 9. And remember, it was a negative 27, so it's a negative 9. So y should equal a negative 9. Okay, those are your two-step equations. Then you have your writing algebraic expressions. Okay, so you need to define a variable, write the equation, and then solve it. So this says, so this was kind of like, um, we'll say, uh, what was it called? So this was like your worksheet, SP8. So worksheet, SP8. Okay, I had you do the other day. That's what these had at the bottom of the page. So bottom of worksheet SP8, okay? If you need more references. So 3 plus the quotient, what's quotient mean? Quotient means division. Okay, so it's going to be a fraction of a number and 2 is 7. So remember, is means equal. So this is going to be 3 plus the quotient, so I have a fraction bar, of a number. Okay, so I'm going to say let x equal the number. Okay, so I know what we're talking about. So I'm going to say x is the number. You can use n. You can use any letter you want. I just like x the best. So x, the quotient of a number, x, and 2, which means 2 is going on the bottom. It goes in order. So a number and 2, x has to go on top, 2 in the bottom, is 7. Okay, so that's your first step. Or first, second step, writing the equation. You have to write the equation before you can solve it. Okay, so I'm going to write it to the side. 3 plus x over 2 equals 7. Okay, now we're solving it. So draw your line. This is last. So this 3 right here is positive. Even though there's not a plus sign in front of it, it's positive. So I have to subtract 3 from one side and then the other. So x over 2 is going to equal 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, my last step, this is divided by 2. So multiply by 2. So x is going to equal 8. So that's my final answer. X is equal to 8. My number is 8. So this is all of your answer. You have the equation and you have your actual answer, what your X equals. Okay, our next one is Miss Yeager has five more cats than Miss McGaw. If there are a total of eight cats, how many cats does Miss McGaw have? Okay, so again, you have to write the equation and solve it. Okay, so five more cats than Miss McGaw. So I'm going to say Miss McGaw's cats. I'm going to say that equals X. Okay, so I'm going to let, let, let's see, let Miss McGaw's cats equal X. So Miss Yeager has five more cats than Miss McGaw, which means X plus five. And there are a total of eight cats, so equals eight. Okay, then I have to solve it. So x plus 5 equals 8 minus 5. Oh, I didn't mean to cross that out. Okay, so that's x equals 5, 6, 7 is 3. Okay, so how many cats does Miss McGaw have? Mrs. McGaw has. How many cats? Three cats. Because three plus five does in fact equal eight.
Okay, the last one is Roger gets $40 per day as wages and $4.50 as commission for every pair of shoes he sells in a day. His daily earnings goal is $112. So this whole problem is talking about per day. Okay, write an equation to determine how many pairs of shoes he, Roger, must sell in a day to meet his goal. So they're already telling you that pairs of shoes is going to be the letter P. So we're not using X this time. Okay, so Roger gets paid $40 per day. So that's like a flat fee. Then he gets $4.50 for every pair of shoes. That's per shoe. Okay, so it's going to how many he sells. It's going to be $4.50 times however many he sells however many shoes he sells, P. So he is gonna get $40 flat plus $4.50 for every pair of shoes he sells, 450 times P, okay? His daily earnings goal is 112. So is is equal 112. It says write an equation to determine how many pairs of shoes he must sell in a day to meet his goal. So this is the equation. So this is part of it. Okay, and I forgot to write the rest on here, but the other part I want you to find is how many shoes must he sell? How many shoes must Roger sell to meet his goal. Okay, so we're adding that question. So I'm solving this equation then. So my equation was 40 plus 4.50p equals 112. Okay, this is a two-step equation because there's a number with the p. Draw my line. Remember, p goes last. So this guy is last. So I have to subtract 40. 4.50p equals 112 minus 40 is 72. Now it's a one-step equation. It's okay, it's a decimal. This 4.50 is still being multiplied by the p. So I have to divide. Divide by 4.50. So p equals 72 divided by 4.50 is going to give you 16. So how many shoes must Roger sell to meet his goal? Roger must sell 16 pairs of shoes to earn $112 that day. Oh, it's cutting off for you. There you go. Okay, so that's all I have for this review. Study it, and um, I have a little homework assignment for you from quizzes. Okay, bye guys, miss you.